Good evening, everyone. I am Fagos Angmar Hoshigaoka, and I bid you welcome to the fifth podcast of the forthcoming of the Void Star. And today we have a question that was actually directed to me. <laughs> I thought it very funny because this this person asked how I could how I could become a dark lord without being punished. That is literally what he asked. So. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry that I had to refocus for a moment and I had to laugh about it because <laughs> it really it really makes me think back of the days that I initially set foot on the path of the Dark Lord and I thought it was easy. <laughs> This moment that it wouldn't take no effort or anything. I had no idea what road the coast I was going to step into. So no, it wasn't it easy, easy at all. In matter of fact, um, when I stepped onto the path of the Dark Lord and on the left-hand path per se, it is because of certain forces that were entropic in nature. And I initially, you know, if you believe that it's going to be something easy then I can free you from that illusion because quickly enough you will be freed from that illusion. What happens when you step onto the path of the Dark Lord and what makes people continue on this path is because one, they have found their purpose, two, they have found their true self and that is something that will not exist just out of nothing. It, 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 it takes a period of growth and the reason why I'm saying this is that there are two kinds of people. The people we as Darksiders divine as the herd who actually don't have a real purpose. They they think a friend of mine just came with the word the good guys batch and if you really want to know what it means then look into the books of Anton LaVey into um, um, the devil's notebook it was. And it is because of a society we have been raised in and with a certain belief uh, we hold for true and that belief is that everyone you know should be a good person and but we know that doesn't always work <laughs> so this is why I don't believe in this particular good guys badge but you are up against the forces when you step into the path of the Dark Lord and that is that you grow uh, because you get to know your own dark side, you will automatically see and feel and draw out the dark side of others. You will see it, you will know it, you will eventually know how to deal with it and you will know where it's coming from. Because they are actually submitted to a kind of mindset but was not even initially their own. And they find it very strange, you know, when you find yourself on the dark path and because you are just not following a trend or them or don't like the things they do they will you know instead of bolstering that uniqueness in you they they will try to make you feel damaged now out of the herd that is what the herd is doing so a lot of people cannot take that pressure but i can tell you when you grow onto the path of the dark lord and you see their shadow you know where it's coming from and you grow into this sovereignty yourself you more and more disconnect from that human ego part that is residing within the herd and a lot of people don't don't understand what you're doing they will meet you with hostility they will meet you with misunderstandings with uh intolerance of things because they think and they are really Invested and, and rooted in it, mindset that you are you're the opposer, which you actually are. But you know, once you once you get to know that you are the opposer, you start to view things in a different kind of way. You elevate above the masses, in a way of speaking. And when you do so, you know you will look at things, and that is also described in the Libre Chaos, which is written by Peter uh, Carroll that we view things with uh, laughter and laughter uh, laughter slash laughter thing and we understand that there is no countering emotion to laughter 
it's the highest emotion there is and you look at things with uh, uh, disinterest non-disinterest actually um, so you you don't get completely grabbed or hooked up or stuck in what people are saying about you and you will learn to validate yourself and that is the beautiful part of it I think when you start to learn to see the black sun current in people and what kind of effect it has on them and how dark siders react on it because we we actually see the first phenomena we see it's literally we see it's phenomena taking place in how you know certain signs that are coming Nietzsche was one of them for instance you can see things coming because you create a deeper psychological insight and uh, your your ability to sense things it sharpens and that is what I call in my book the Muhar Jin the Muhar Jin is actually people also call it a demon that is elevating itself uh, above the plane of the mediocre of the mediocre uh, consciousness and the mediocre um, mindset and sees things with an expensive mood it's fostering an expensive mood it can look at the horizon and then it would see the villages over there in a matter of speaking and the villages behind him you know it's he sees in a wider scope of things the wider scope in a wider meaning of things and you get connected to that force and when you do you know you will start to think ahead all right you know if i do this then the mob might be against me but this is my goal this is where i'm going and you become a walking fire and people people really fear that they fear that intensity you know i also see that in certain star wars science fiction sit groups you know uh that they, they speak about the the code the sit code uh, there's no peace you know peace is alive there's only passion and all that but when they see this obsessed energy you have with a goal your aura gets really intense your behavior gets intense and they see you as obsessed as someone who is cuckoo you know and this is exactly the passion the sit code is talking about you know and then they are starting like okay you get a little bit too much you know <laughs> you know you guys don't really know what you're talking about so um once you start to be grasped by that force then I can tell you, you will start to see things from a different perspective and you will definitely get to know the mob, how they react and you get to know yourself what you really want. And as a soul brain, you're not really are going to care about people's criticism anymore because you know what holds them back. And this is the thing, you know what holds them back. And you have freed yourself from that limitation. So this is what I can give you. No, it wasn't easy. It is a growing process. But <laughs> come on, I, I didn't just step onto that path and say, "Hey, I'm going to be a dark lord and it's going to be easy." No, it doesn't work like that. So there's your answer. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.